Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about how you can actually crack data science jobs at Amazon. Now recently, some of my subscribers and students of iNeuron have actually cleared data science jobs in Amazon itself. Not only data science, they've also cleared job related data analyst and business analyst. For data analyst or business analyst, I'll create a separate video. But here I just want to focus on the entire process, like how he went ahead and how he cracked the interview right so i recently had that dis specific discussion so if we talk about companies like amazon and all amazon uber or any kind of fang companies you know most of the kind of role that you will probably be getting is with respect to sde1 sde2 you know software development engineer and these are all roles that you will probably be seeing you know it will be based on years of experience right now, when I talk about software development engineer, you may be thinking that, okay, a kind of software engineering work you will be doing over there. No, nothing like that. It depends on projects to projects. And yes, there are a lot of data science job profiles that are also available in Amazon with respect to that specific kind of work, you know, and they have specifically a lot of AI modules, recommendation systems and all, right? So coming to this, uh, the first, I'm just going to discuss about the entire process, how it went ahead and probably how you can also make sure that you can prepare in that specific way. So uh, if I talk about the process, you will basically have multiple rounds. It may be differing around four to five rounds like that. And some people have also cleared in just round four. Okay. If I talk about the round one, okay. And this is probably the most important round where many people fail to clear it. Even I have also given somewhere around five years back and I was failed to clear in this specific round. So this round is mostly related to data structures. Okay. Now, when I probably say data structures, I'm not saying that you need to be proficient with one programming language. No, right. You, whatever favorite programming language you may have, C, C++, Java, Python, whatever you have, right here, based on some data structures, you'll be given a problem statement and you need to solve this. Okay. And for this, you usually get somewhere around 45 minutes if you are actually going to their office and probably writing this or giving the interview over there. Now, in this 45 minutes, there will be two to three problem statement. I think you need to just solve two problem statement. Uh, that is what he actually told the person who had attended the interview. And how can you practice this all data structures? And obviously, uh, iNeuron has also come up with this tech neuron courses, right, where we have specifically focused on data structures that will be asked in companies, uh, in FANG companies or in this kind of product development companies like uh, Amazon, Uber and all, right? So this kind of problem statements will definitely be coming. And if you also want some other platforms, you can definitely go. There is something called as lead code. You can practice. If you probably practice the first 200 questions. So based on the problem statement, you probably have to apply a data structure and try to solve that. Okay. So if you are able to clear this, that basically means the first round is clear. Once you get, once you are able to write the pseudocode, pseudocode is also fine in this. Okay. If you're not able to get the entire code, pseudocode is also more than sufficient so that you'll be able to help them to make understand that how you're trying to solve this particular problem. Okay. So this is the first round. Okay. And, uh, Yes, within 45 minutes, so the type of questions uh, that person had actually seen is that he learned from Tech Neuron because in Tech Neuron, there is a course on data structures where all, all the questions that are probably related to Amazon or some other product based companies with respect to data structures that has been solved. Lead code is also an amazing platform. There only you can probably write the code and you can actually come up with an output or solution, right? So uh, I would suggest these two things, Tech Neuron and Lead Code will be more than sufficient. If you practice 200, 300 questions, you will be able to clear this, okay? Now in the round two, okay? In the round two, that is in the second round, he was just asked to explain this entire problem statement, okay? Explain how did he basically solve this, okay? So explain the solution that he has basically come up for this, right? So he started explaining it and all, right? So <clears throat> If you are able to cover round one and round two, now with respect to a data scientist, right? Your main interview related to data scientist will start from round three. Okay. So if I probably talk about round three over here, the focus was entirely on the kind of data science work you have actually done. And again, it was no something different. 
he started with his projects okay and he explained this project what all things he has actually done now see uh, the person who was trying to make a transition uh, he had specifically uh, some years of experience in data science industry but he had done a lot of poc works poc basically means proof of concept okay so over here he has specifically done a lot of proof of concept work okay proof of concept basically means that okay you have an idea and I, I usually say all my students, you know, who are working in different domain, in different industry, in different programming language, in different technology, right? The first step is that you learn the data science skills and then see that how you can apply the data science skills in your domain or in your technology. Suppose if you have a problem statement, you want to automate something, you know. So he had actually done one kind of automation, which was decreasing the expenditure. So he basically told a specific goal over there and he said that okay i'm doing this kind of proof of concept project and uh, now, right now it's almost developed we have represented that to the manager the manager is in progress to give an approval so that they can make it to a large scale okay apart from that he had also done some end-to-end -end projects in his company okay end-to-end -end projects in his company and this end-to-end -end projects were basically in pipeline Okay, so basically they had started that specific work. They were somewhere around 30 to 40 percent of the work were completed. The, the, the entire project was not completed. But he had explained about this proof, proof of concept project in a better way. Uh, where, what was the specific goal he was trying to do and all. Now, when he started the explaining this project, they were focusing on the entire life cycle of that specific project, right? Like what all challenges he basically faced in feature engineering, what all kind of data transformation he has done, why he has done that kind of data transformation, what all statistical concepts he has basically done over there. Has he done any kind of hypothesis testing? Now, see, he's trying to... Uh, the kind of questions that were actually coming up, right? It was included, right? In some or the other way, everything was getting combined. Right. So in hypothesis testing, how you can basically uh, come up with a statistical analysis, which statistical analysis you should basically apply. OK, you have given this problem statement. What do you think? What kind of statistical analysis you should do in order to come to a conclusion? Right. So what I felt is that whatever things we are learning in data science. And he said that out of all this thing, round three was very, very easy because he was asking with respect to the things where Actually, that guy was so good at talking because whatever he was talking, he knew that if I bring up this specific topic in front of the recruiter, he'll ask that specific topic question, which he was already good at it. Now, because of this, he was able to bring so many concepts in mind. Okay. And because of that, he was able to explain over here. Yeah, there were also some kind of questions which he could not answer, but that is fine. You know, because the recruiter actually sees, the technical recruiter actually sees that what all things he can actually do. Okay, if there are something, if there are, if there are something that he cannot answer, that does not mean that he's bad at that thing. He probably may not have used it, right? So over here, if I probably talk about, he told end-to-end -end projects, life cycle, right? And he was also given a problem statement related to Amazon. Problem statement related to Amazon. So when this problem statement was given, over here, what all assumptions that you can probably come up with in order to solve this problem? And since he was very good at stats, he was very good at the entire life cycle of a data science project. He told that, okay, I'm going to include this. He even knew Tableau and Power BI, okay? This is the business intelligence tool. So based on those tools, obviously transformation becomes easy. You know, what all kind of transformation that they can actually do? What all kind of statistical conclusion that I can make? He was very good at it, right? And when I asked him like out of this, which one was the very easiest part? He just said that round three was the very easy part because it was his comfortable zone. This he had to really practice a lot because in lead code, you really, and that is how the process happens in this kind of product-based companies. They will ask questions related to data structures and see that how your coding is. And this process is basically used to filter out the candidate within the first round. If you're good at this, they will further go and ask you what all things you can actually do. So as I said that, please make sure that you know about the goals. You know about what things you are actually doing. You know about your entire project, what you want to do. Like some of the questions that he could not answer was related to something called as data drift. Okay. What exactly is data drift? Probably model retraining approach he may not have done. 
but he was not able to answer he gave the definition what exactly it is but with respect to practical experience he did not had so he could not explain this right but with respect to how did he derive the entire structure of the project there is a concept of something called as mvc model view controller okay and he explained that the reason he could explain this because he was already a dot net developer in his previous work right so he was basically a dot net developer right and there we use model view controller because i was also a dot net developer at one point of time when i started my career i know model view controller how it works right so based on that concept he told that okay i basically made my entire project structure like this okay and if you don't know guys django which is a framework it also works in mvc mvc basically means model view controller so this is how django framework entirely works right not only that then he came up with the project structure how he is going to probably make uh, each and everything how is the pipeline basically created pipeline with respect to the entire life cycle of a data science project how did he basically determine the config file how he is actually storing all the necessary information in the config file itself why he is using that specific config file for that particular configuration they were had also asked him about dockers and when you probably deploy a application end to end probably in heroku or aws cloud right there you will definitely be using dockers so why he specifically used dockers over there he was able to explain he did not had 100% idea about dockers but yes he had seen that before deploying that specific solution because we make we make our projects in this specific way in any run all the end to end projects is created in this way so that when you are trying to deploy the project into the cloud we make sure that we put up all the docker configuration over there we dockerize that as a container and then we deploy it right and he also get an idea about ci cd pipeline right now see we are making sure that we teach you in this way in ineuron we use something called as github actions one of the ci cd pipeline there also see other ci cd pipeline like circle ci and all he was able to explain with respect to github actions because github actions along with the heroku platform or aws platform you can entirely create an amazing ci cd pipeline and most soon probably i'll also be coming up with that particular video because i have never uploaded that kind of videos for everyone so what we'll do is that we'll dockerize that entire thing and then we'll use github actions and we'll try to deploy that in the heroku platform right so that was it round 3 round 4 was a managerial round again they asked about different kind of projects over here also but it was most of a discussion stage and finally he got the confirmation from the hr in the round 5 right and the salary hike that he has got is somewhere around 120% hike and amazon is an amazing company uh, obviously and you will definitely be getting a good hike itself so it's not like you cannot crack data science jobs in uh, fang and all also you can definitely do it uh, i've seen people cracking data science jobs even in google okay the thing is that this round 1 and round 2 is the most important one because this is your clearing stage where they will be given your data structures problems you know you you will be getting 45 minutes to 1 hour to solve that problem and as you go ahead you explain the solution and round 3 and round 4 was related to data science and finally in the round 5 he got the hr confirmation saying that how much this is and after discussion he was able to get 120% hike so i hope you like this particular video uh Yes, everything is possible, guys. I've seen that in front of my eyes, so that is the reason why I'm telling you. Uh, yes, you should not give up. You should keep on trying. If your love is all the fan companies, you should also keep on applying it. But make sure that you have all these things in mind because that is how all the product-based companies will have the interview in place, right? So I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share with all your friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.